This morning we have a, a sort of a unique event going on. We're going to have a reboost where we're going to fire the engines on the aft end of the space station to increase our velocity in orbit around the Earth about uh, one meter uh, per second or so. So not a lot, but enough to, uh, to raise our orbit uh, a little bit and to uh, prepare uh, for a coming progress uh, supply ship as well as the space shuttle shortly after that. Now some of you have asked uh, why we need to do a reboost. Uh, do we stay in orbit uh, uh, and questions like that. The answer is there is a small amount of drag here even 200 miles above the earth um, and they say it's from uh, atomic oxygen. So there's a very small amount of uh, oxygen present out there in the vacuum of space and so it's not a 100% vacuum and that uh, those uh, atoms uh, cause a, a finite amount of drag on the space station so over a period of time we slow down and our altitude over the earth uh, decreases. So due to that and also uh, due to the requirements of rendezvous of uh, uh, spacecraft like Progress and Shuttle we need to adjust the orbit usually increase it um, periodically and we're going to do that this morning. I'm going to try to give a demonstration while it's happening so that you can see the acceleration from the engine. So let's head down to the Russian segment and uh, prepare for that. Okay, here we are down in the Russian segment in the service module and uh, we don't actually operate the reboost here on board. The ground programs it and then the computers on board execute the reboost. Uh, but we have insight into uh, the parameters coming up and it looks like uh, we're programmed to do a 2.7 meter per second uh, increase in our delta V. When the engines fire, uh, we will experience a, a small acceleration, not a whole lot, but it will be 0 0.0185 meters per second squared. And I'm going to try to demonstrate that uh, at the time of ignition and during the burn. Now the way I'm going to demonstrate the acceleration that comes during the reboost is by using this camera. Uh, 800 millimeter lens, so it's, it's pretty massive actually. Um, and you can see I can float it here and there's no reboost going on right now so the camera's not going to go anywhere. It's just going to slowly drift uh, due to the ventilation or, or if I put any uh, velocity into it, it'll drift out of the scene. But I'm going to try to hold it here steady and you can see that it, it stays very steady. That's going to be different uh, at the point of ignition and during the reboost, and uh, we'll see that here in a few minutes. Okay, we have about 40 seconds or so before the burn starts. Again, we're in weightlessness right now, and there's no accelerations, virtually no accelerations on us. And you can see I'm floating this camera right here, and it's not going anywhere. That's going to change here in just a, a little while. Uh, let's see. Looks like we have about 20 seconds to go until the scheduled burn time. There's uh, my camera. I'm setting it up for ignition. There it goes. It actually came a little bit early. Now watch the camera accelerate toward you. There it goes. I'm going to reach out and grab it and bring it back in the view here. And I'm holding it. I'm actually feeling the acceleration. I'm going to let go again. Here it goes, it's going to take off. I'll try not to let it hit you. Just going to miss you. The burn is still going on. I'm going to let go again. Here it goes. The burn is continuing. Again, I'll demonstrate it one more time. Here's my heavy camera. I'm going to let go. It's going to begin to accelerate toward you. Now, what would happen if I let go of myself? Yeah, I'm going to let go now. And here I go, drifting back toward you again. So the acceleration applies to me, too. Ah, and there I could hear the engine cut off. So, the burn is complete. We have 
reached our 2.7 meters per second that we desired. And now if I let go of the camera, it's not going anywhere. So the burn is over. Reboot's complete. We'll stay in orbit for a little while longer.